You know, I started at a small TV studio and my job was to rotoscope out football players from this football footage. And it was painstaking. You had to frame by frame. We didn't really have any of the auto trackers. So you had to manually do all this. And I did it with a smile, but then all these guys kept going in and out of this dark room. And I'd always ask, what are they doing there? Like, oh, those are the animators. You're not allowed to go in there. And the more I sat at this, and I sat right by the door. The more I sat there, the more I wanted to be. I want to be an animator. I want to know what they do in there. And I pushed and pushed, and then finally one afternoon, one of my bosses was like, look, you can go in there on Sunday afternoon, just don't touch anything. And I remember walking in, I grabbed the tutorial book, I opened the book, and they were using Soft Image 3D. And I remember opening that book and it said, select the vertices and create a cluster. And I thought, what's a vertice? So I didn't even know where to start. And it was almost just this moment in time where I felt like, there's probably other people just like me who want to learn how to do this, but there's just nowhere to go to learn how to do this. And I think that's probably where it stuck with me about there's, there could be a way that we can help a whole new generation of people not have to go through the struggle of having to learn on the job, but really learn before you get to the job. After getting more 3D skills in the 90s, he started teaching at a local college across the street from where he lived in Oklahoma. But the problem with that was his students knocking on his door asking for help any time of the day. He was okay with it at first until his wife got pregnant, so he needed to find a solution. This guy is Piyush Patel, the founder of Digital Tutors. One day he started to record a bunch of lectures and sent them to his students, which saved him a lot of time as it was easier than writing and it saved him from students coming knocking on his door at odd hours. And they did that all the time by the way. He posted one of his courses on the internet following a student's suggestion and people around the globe found it to be useful and they were asking for more. So he continued doing so every night, making content to put out there into the community. That's how in 2000, he founded one of the best digital art learning platforms with creative courses from motion graphics to 3D animation to digital painting to game development and VFX. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.